Hello Tyler from Alltrack here. Uh, so just want to do a quick little uh, explanation of how to release the brakes and bypass the pumps for emergency towing on these AT50 track vehicles. So I've already gone through and released the valves. If you actually take a look up here, there's valves up here for bypassing the A and B lines on the drive motors. Um, this will allow you to actually tow it once the brake is released. So normally these are 90 degrees straight out. That's the closed position. The handle would be moved to straight in line with the hydraulic hoses. That allows it to bypass. You should only ever be bypassing the motors when you're actually towing the vehicle. Um, if these are bypassed uh, in any other situation, it'll cause possible loss control of the vehicle. Um, so anyways, those should be bypassed. Um, I've already gone through liberty of raising the cab. The brake release pump is actually just here on the other side of the turbo you see there is a manual pump um, so we have to actually pump that up to release the brakes prior to doing that you should make sure the vehicle is blocked or attached to a tow vehicle and safe so you can release the brakes and it's not going to roll away on you and cause any problems the bar is located right behind the driver's seat this bar actually works double duty it uh, also can be used to manually raise the, the cab as well if you have a power outage or, or a pump failure. So to bypass the brakes you simply have to make sure that the valve is closed all the way. And then, sorry I'm trying to do this one hand here. Simply pump up the brake circuit. You actually just pump the brake circuit until you feel it bypass. So so there it's hard to press. It's release, reached the relief valve setting of the pump. Um, that will hold the brakes released uh, for a period of up to two hours. Now I'll drop the cab here again. So I had my colleague here just take up the slack in this chain here with our forklift. Um, now we'll demonstrate towing the vehicle. Towing should be done at a minimum speed. Um, it should be done at about walking speed. Any faster than that you can actually create heat in the drive circuit and potentially damage something. You'll see now once the brakes are released, the vehicle tows quite nicely. You may hear a little bit of uh, clunking coming from the drive motor when you're towing. Uh, this is normal. Um, it's just part of the operation of a radial piston motor. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, to release the brakes, you simply release the pressure in the brake circuit and then close the A and B valves and the machine will be back to normal operating mode. Thanks a lot.